हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू एनजी क्लासेस यूट्यूब चैनल फॉर अ वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज इन कंट्रोल सिस्टम्स इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी शैल कंसीडर अ न्यूमेरिकल फाइंड द नंबर ऑफ रूट्स विद पॉजिटिव रियल पार्ट जीरो रियल पार्ट एंड नेगेटिव रियल पार्ट फॉर द सिस्टम व्हिच इज डिस्क्राइब्ड बाय दिस इक्वेशन सो टू सॉल्व दिस आई नीड टू आई नीड टू सॉल्व दिस यूजिंग रूथ हर्विट्स क्राइटेरियन सो फॉर दैट जस्ट कंसीडर द सॉल्यूशन व्हाट शुड आई what should i have to do is uh, let me rewrite this equation whatever equation has been given let me write rewrite this equation as s to the power 6 plus 4s to the power 5 then plus 3s to the power 4 why am rewriting this because s to the power 3 is missing over here so that is a bit misleading so i need to write 0 into s to the power 3 minus 16 s square Minus sixty-four s minus forty-eight equal to zero. Once this is done, I can construct the root array for this. So just let me write s to the power six, s to the power five, s to the power four, s to the power three, s square, s to the power one, and lastly s to the power zero. And after this, just let me draw one simple straight line over here. So now I just have to write the coefficients. So what should I uh, write now? I should write first with uh, co term with even coefficients, even powers of uh, s to the power six. So what is the coefficient of this? Here I have one, and similarly moving, the next term is three s to the power four. Its coefficient is three. Then I have minus sixteen s square. So let me write minus sixteen over here. Then I have the constant term minus forty eight. So let me write that. And now I have to write the coefficients of odd powers of s. Yes. First term is 4s5, so let me write 4 over here. Then I have uh, 0s to the power 3, so let me write uh, 0 over here. And then I have to write uh, minus 64s yes. for that. Let me write minus 64, and I have nothing over here. So I can fill it with 0. So now I need to uh, fill the element over here. So what should I do? For that I need to multiply 4 into 3. Minus one into zero divided by four, so that needs to be done. So if I have to do that, it is just let me do the rough work over here. Four into three minus one into zero that needs to be divided by with the term four. So ultimately, I'm going to get uh, three as my answer. So just let me write three over here. Is that fine? So next element, what should be the next element? To write the next element, I need to leave this column. And I have to consider four into minus sixteen minus of one into minus sixty-four divided by four. Is that okay? So what should I do? I said four into minus sixteen minus one into minus sixty-four. Ultimately, this needs to be divided by four. So what should I get? Four into minus sixteen, it is minus sixty-four, and uh, minus of minus it becomes plus sixty-four divided by four. So minus sixty-four plus sixty-four, I'm going to get zero over here. Is that okay? Similarly, moving on, I need to write the element at this. So for that, I have to leave this column and I have to consider four into minus forty-eight minus one into zero divided by four, which turns out to be minus forty-eight. Is this okay? So moving on uh, further, next thing. It is three into zero minus four into zero divided by three, which turns out to be zero over here. Uh, next term, I need to leave out this column, and then I have to consider three into minus sixty-four and uh, minus four into minus forty-eight divided by three. So what that uh, leads to be? So I said, let me just write it again: three into minus sixty-four minus Four into minus of forty-eight, so that gets divided by three. So what I'm going to get in the numerator: three into minus sixty-four is minus one ninety-two, and then uh, minus four into minus forty-eight it becomes plus one ninety-two. So obviously that also turns out to be zero. So this row completely becomes zero now. So this is the special case of root criterion. So this is the special. case so what should i do now uh, to solve this further i have to consider uh, one of the rows is completely zero now 
to solve this what should i have to consider i have to consider uh, just the previous row and i need to write the auxiliary equation so what is the auxiliary equation auxiliary polynomial so just let me consider auxiliary polynomial so what is that going to be auxiliary aux auxiliary polynomial so i am going to indicate that as a of yes so i am going to consider a of yes what is that so it is with respect to this row s to the power 4 so it turns out to be 3 s to the power 4 and 0 s to the power 2 minus 48 so this is my auxiliary polynomial what should i do next i have to take the differentiation of this so let me consider d by ds of a of yes so what i am going to get so differentiation of s to the power 4 it is 4 s cube 4 into 3 it is 12 s cube differentiation of 48 is 0 so this is what i am going to write uh, in the term of s to the power 3 as a 12 so i am going to replace this 0 with 12 and i am going to solve this further is that okay so just let me just let me uh, com complete just me rewrite uh, this uh, roots table so here i have uh, s to the power 6 s to the power 5 then i have s to the power 4 s to the power 3 s to the power 2 and similarly moving down i have s to the power 1 s to the power 0 just let me draw one straight line over here and moving further and i have to fill up that table so which wherein i had a 1 over here 3 minus 16 minus 48 in the second row i had 4 0 minus 64 0 and in the third row that is s to the power 4 i had 3 0 minus 48 0 and in s to the power 3 rows uh, i had 0 so now that needs to be replaced with the element 12 so now i had to continue this further is that okay so now i need to write the element at this position so for that i need to leave this column and i have to consider uh, uh, writing 3 into minus 64 and minus 4 into minus 48 divided by 3 so if i do that that also turns out to be zero just do the calculation i'm that also turns out to be uh, zero is that fine so moving further now i need to write the element at this column and i eliminate this so i would write 3 into 0 minus 4 into 0 divided by 3 that also turns out to be zero yes moving further yes s square in s square i need to write 12 into 0 Minus three into zero divided by twelve. That also leads to zero. So this is again uh, another special case. So this is again another special case when uh, one of the one uh, one the, the one one of the elements in the column a first column is a zero. That is considered as another special case. Special case of Ruth Hurwitz criterion. So that needs to be replaced with a a value called. epsilon which is near to 0 i don't consider it exactly 0 i would consider a value which is near to 0 and i would continue this further so here uh, i would multi i i have to get the element at this position for that epsilon to 0 minus uh, for that uh, it is uh, i need to consider it over here it is 12 into minus 48 minus 3 into 0 divided by 12 which leads to be minus 48 so here i'm going to get minus 48 and i'm not going to get over here anything over here that is turns out to be zero so next i need to write the element over here which is the multiplication of epsilon into zero minus 12 into minus 48 divided by epsilon so what is that i'm going to get 576 12 into minus 48 minus 76 minus of that i'm going to get plus 576 that gets divided by epsilon and here i'm going to get zero and at s to the power 0 what should i get 576 divided by epsilon into minus 48 minus epsilon 0 divided by this term ultimately that leads to minus 48 as the answer so how many sign changes over here 
as there is one sign change so let me write as as there is one sign change as there is one sign change the system is unstable the given system is unstable so my conclusion is the system is unstable so once this is done i need to find the different uh, terms which are positive real part zero real part and negative real part for that let me consider let me consider solving the auxiliary polynomial solving this a of yes let me equate this to zero so what is going to happen i have 3 yes to the power 4 minus 48 so let me equate this to zero what is going to happen uh, to solve this what i should do is let me consider uh, put s square equal to y so if i do that i'm going to get 3 y square minus 48 equal to 0 so if I solve this further what I'm going to get I'm going to get 3 y square equal to 48 and uh, y square is equal to plus or minus 16 therefore y is equal to plus or minus 4 is that okay so what is y y is nothing but s square i had put earlier uh, y s square equal to y so now that me let me replace that s square is equal to plus or minus 4 what does that mean so that means 1 s is equal to uh, 1 s square s square is equal to plus 4 and s square equal to minus 4 so what does this mean so if i consider s is equal to plus or minus 2 and again s is equal to it is square root of minus 4 which turns out to be plus or minus 2j so i got four roots now so how many roots are there in total so in total total number of roots so how many roots are there total number of roots equal to 6 so how do I say total number of roots as 6 it depends on highest power of yes so this system starts with s to the power 6 4 s to the power 5 and so on hence there are there must be total 6 roots so out of these 6 roots roots with positive real part so just let me consider that roots with positive real part how many are there roots with the positive real part there is only one the which is plus two then i have to say roots with zero real part so that is the second thing needs to be found roots with zero real part that means these roots are imaginary so how many are there plus or minus 2j plus 2j minus 2j that means there are two so 2 plus 1 is 3 and then lastly I need to find the roots with negative real part roots with negative real part how many are there so here I have got one which is minus 2 but in total there are 6 and uh, 3 are over here so uh, and there must be another 2 2 plus 1 which makes 3 that means there are 3 roots with negative real part so this is the ultimate solution for this numerical I have explained this numerical step by step I hope you people have understood if there are still any doubts please let me know them onto the comment section and I'm happy to answer those doubts thank you so much for watching